Hey everyone, and welcome back to Aragami. On this video, we're gonna be completing the fourth chapter, The Shaded Woods, without getting detected, and we're also not gonna kill any of the enemies in the level. So let's begin. Alright, so this level is the first one on my pacifist run that I've, uh, had any sort of issues with at all. This one's a bit harder, you're gonna have to work for it. The archers complicate things, plus the, um, there's a lot more enemies, sort of, in more condensed areas, and there's less places to hide, so. Overall, just sort of more difficult, not extremely so, you just kinda have to you can't just breeze through it like we did on the first three chapters. I'm gonna have to work for it. Okay, so what do we got here? I don't know why I can't jump there. There we go. Uh, I don't see any enemies, so let's head down. We'll go this way, across the stream. Port to the side of this guy, and we'll break this light orb once he gets a little further away. That'll be good. He saw me, but that's okay. Or he was, um... His suspicions were raised. He didn't see me. Otherwise, he'd be red. Okay, so the next light orb is up there. We want to make sure the archer isn't there. Which, uh, I don't believe he is. So we're gonna just launch ourselves up there by aiming for the roof. And throwing ourselves up. Oh, there's archers right here. Well, that should be okay. I'm gonna break it. It'll alert him, but he can't really do anything about it. So we'll just go out the back, I guess. Oh, never mind. We don't even need to do that. Because he's moving positions. He didn't see me. So we'll just head down. We'll leap around this area. And head towards the back up into the caves. So here we go, and we can sprint in. That'll get you the second talisman. We'll skip that cutscene just like all the others. And we'll sprint our way through this cavern. Cross these breakable things. All right, and into this area. We'll get this shrine. I don't think we need it, but we're gonna take it anyway. We got an archer looking down. We gotta be a little bit careful with him. So we're gonna make a shadow there. Jump to these shadows. We'll come here. Make another shadow there. And come around to this rock, although I'm out of essence. Surprised they didn't see me, but I had Kage ready just in case. We'll jump past him. Make a shadow, jump across. Come to the left. And we'll swing around this, like, fortress thing. So over here. Through there. Right here we'll make another shadow, jump again. And head in through this, like, secret entrance into the fortress. Or tree fort, whatever this thing is. And in the middle of it is another light orb. So we'll break that. That lowers the barrier to the drawbridge control thing. So I'll head back outside through there and let's see what we got. Oh this is perfect. Normally there's a, the archer standing guard there and he's in the way but he's not there right now so this is perfect. We can go use the drawbridge control and then I should be able to drop... Uh, maybe not. I was gonna say I should be able to drop down, but... Well, leap down instead. Because he's pretty close. I don't want to ruin this at the end. Jump there, there. And we should be safe to run all the way to the end of the level. And there we go. Now normally that archer is gonna be watching guard over that drawbridge so what you'll need to do is uh, ring the bell 
under him, and for whatever reason, that'll get him to move, because otherwise, he, in my experience, he just doesn't move. So if he's standing guard there, go underneath him, ring your bell, he'll get alerted, he'll shoot an arrow or whatever, it won't bother you, and then he'll path away, so you can get up there. But I just happened to get lucky he wasn't there. Alright, so we were never detected. We did not kill any enemies, so we picked up the Kami Medal. Chapter time was 4 minutes and 17 seconds. And that is gonna do it for this video. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.